So, I was gonna make a uh, recap video eventually, like uh, tonight, probably tonight, because I don't know when it, that recap video of everything that just went down with the false accusations of Hiram's uncle grooming Ivory and Rasmus. Um, was going to be in the past uh, few days or weeks, but uh, fucking Ivory Rasmus had to come out with this week's month on November 10th, which says all I'm saying to Nas' response is that the I don't care DM was taken out of context, and I said I needed space. Afterwards, I didn't want to hear from him, this person, so I said whatever I could to get him on my DMs. Also, the person who said I lied about my age apologized to me in DMs. Here's proof that debunks his claim that he didn't know my age along with other things in the proof. In the post and this is from number number six which probably has everything that I already just just uh, mentioned in a few videos that you'll probably see in a playlist that that probably just came up so, so you have to click on the card icon on the right side of, of the screen to go and watch every single video but there are some more replies from Ivory over the past couple of hours ago this situation is a perfect exact representation of why victims don't come out about their experiences I have example proof I think he was trying to say and all my friends who knew Pyro know what happened. I don't need to prove this shit to random strangers. Well, your situation is still not adding, adding up, Ivory. This is the this is why nobody should believe the victims first, folks. Because a victim like Ivory, who doesn't have clear and concise of evidence, their story won't even add up if they don't make it at least more knowledgeable for us to know. Let me continue with this statement though. But my hope with talking about this on a public platform was that I could progress conversation around weeding out exploitation of minors because it's a thing that rampant in all online communities and it has potential to ruin people's lives before you even start. On top of that, it's also a matter of alerting potential victims to past predatory behavior. I'm confirmed correct when saying that Pyro sent NSFW to a child and you'd be blind to disregard his majority child fan base being extremely easy to being extremely easy pray for him if he decided to repeat that. This shit goes so much deeper than me cloud chasing, and I struggle to see how people can't grasp this. The environment that's been made and upheld is more inclined to defend predators than the children they preyed on that they preyed on, and the ch that choice of who to protect is strictly enforced. Examples that come to mind are me being apologized to for being raped the by an adult and then having my reply taken out of context and used against me and Niles' response. Me being gaslit by Niles GF 
and her imagining incarnating shit to get back to 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 get me back to back down on seeking out. All uh, the people from those circles telling me I could deal with it privately, which would have would make it insanely easy to sweep under the rug along with people telling me I was egging it on when the entire point is that no matter how I was responding, Naya was talking to a child. It's all part of a social dynamic that allows influential people on in online communities to prey on their friend groups and slash or audience with as little consequences as possible. And it's being reinforced via people doing the same star struck cloud chasing shit I'm being accused of doing. Because you are doing this this star struck cloud chasing. You are doing that shit. I mean, this doesn't change the fact that you don't even know what the word grooming grooming means or grooms in general. And this doesn't change the fact that you had DMs of someone else doing the same thing. Like, that's still just justified ivory. It really doesn't justify any of this. And if you come here to whine about it, is the reason why nobody should believe a victim who cannot come out with a clear and concise of evidence. And I really, really find it hard to believe that you are being extremely serious. I mean, come on, you're overshadowing victims who actually have been sexually groomed or physically sexually assaulted. Pyro did prove himself innocent, and you're salty about it because you have nothing to prove your side of the story. And Junkie Ramen is right. I mean, come on, Ivory. When are you going to accept that you messed up and you got own up to your own actions for like making shit up? I mean, come on. You merely posted fake allegations. No one is inclined to believe you. And that's why Pyro, as of yesterday, gave out his statement. I'm more aware, aware to now believe Pyro because I know he would not do such a thing. I mean, you really shouldn't even do this type of shit anyway. And the fact that you are doing it is just... The reason why everybody here is clowning on you for because you have lied and lied and lied and lied. And you are not representing the victims who actually have been assaulted. Another thing that I would like to add that this person has to has to describe so perfectly. You closed comments to avoid criticism. I mean, come on. If we go back to this tweet, you have closed 
your comments so that only people who you follow or people who follow you can only mention it in this reply. But no one has because they know that you, Ivory, have lied. And the fact that you won't even accept criticism is just beyond me. Like, really. I don't get it. Why won't you shield yourself? Because you don't want to, like, take it like a man and, like, accept it. Plus, other people have so much evidence against you that you cannot even admit what you did was wrong like saying the, the hard or n-word I mean come on this is another situation as to why the me too movement is like not in very good direction nowadays because what happened in years past in the Me Too movement is happening right now with the fake allegations of Hyosinko and for that I think Ivory should just apologize as I mentioned in the last video and a few videos ago I think Ivory should still apologize the longer he continues to drag this on without apologizing, the longer nobody will believe. So, at this point, Ivory, if you're watching this, please do your part and apologize. And that is all. That's all you have to do. You don't need to go on it rant because nobody believes you. If you're gonna act like a child, then don't even make it. You don't even try to defend yourself because you cannot clearly give us a clear and concise explanation of what happened. And plus, again, you did this to yourself. You wholeheartedly admitted it on Tommy C's live stream for an interview about it. That you don't even know what the word green is. So I advise you to stop using that word unless you actually know how to use it in a proper way. Seriously. Grow the fuck up and get a grip. By the way, one last thing, if I haven't said it already, I'm going to say it now. If you don't want to prove the evidence to any random stranger who are most likely fans of Pyrocynical, then why did you come out with this stupid statement back in October in the first place. Why would you come out with it if you don't have a perfect representation with evidence? <laughs> That's something you need to work on, Ivory, and you still have it.